Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two bottles of water. First up is Fresh Finds Sparkling Water Beverage and it's Mandarin Orange Flavor. Next up is Fresh Finds Purified Water. So Fresh Finds is a brand that's only sold at Big Lots, I believe. Big Lots is like a weird store. They sell some groceries, some furniture, and some other just random stuff. They don't really have a focus on one thing. They kind of do a lot of stuff kind of badly. <laughs> but anyway, it's a store I don't, I don't go to very often, but um, I went there and I got these waters. And so let's just open them up and do a comparison and I'll let you guys know which one I think is better at the end of the video. So the sparkling water is this. This looks very similar to other sparkling waters that I've reviewed, like American Clear, which is the Walmart brand. The bottle is almost exactly the same like of this. The, uh, the Aldi brand of sparkling flavored water looks exactly the same as this. Here's another one. It's called Super Chill. This is sold at Shop and Save, which I'm going to review this in a future video. But don't these bottles look like, exactly the same? Isn't that weird? Like they're trying to standardize the shape of the bottle. Kind of like, you know, a, a soda can. It's all the same can, um, no matter where you buy it from or what brand you buy it from. It's usually all the same size. Maybe that's what they're, what they're trying to do with these bottles. It's like standardize it. And this is sparkling. Good. I was worried it was going to like explode all over the place did rise a little bit. Look at all those bubbles. It's not bad. Um, you know, it just tastes like orange soda, kind of. I don't really know what the difference is between mandarin orange and orange. Um, but I think they kind of taste the same. This just tastes like orange soda to me. This was 65 cents for a single bottle. This has zero calories, zero fat, zero sodium, zero carbs, zero protein. So that's all good. But this does have 300 milligrams of potassium in it, so it's not really water. I guess they, they add potassium to it. And the ingredients in this include carbonated water, citric acid, natural flavors, aspartame, potassium citrate, and potassium benzenate. That's what they add for the flavor. But it's still it's good that there's no calories and you know there's no bad stuff in it. I'm assuming that Big Lots has other flavors of this. At the store I went to, they only had Mandarin Orange. Doesn't that seem kind of weird? Usually when you when you see flavored waters in a store, they have a whole shelf of like, you know, a big variety. Like LaCroix, I think, has all, over 20 different flavors. Um, it seems weird that they would only have Mandarin Orange. Like, there was no empty space on the shelf, but... Maybe at other stores they sell other flavors. I don't know. Okay, let's move on to the Fresh Finds Purified Water. It says it's filtered with ozone and reverse osmosis. And it says it's from Columbus, Ohio. This came in a case of 24. And it looks like a standard, you know, cheapo bottle of water. Just like standard Niagara and Nestle bottles. <clears throat> Here's an Aldi brand. It like looks pretty much the same. I guess this has a more flat part on the top, but still basically the same. <laughs> Excuse me. This was two dollars and forty-five cents for a case of twenty-four, which is not a bad price. It's really not. Um so about a little bit over 10 cents 
per bottle. That's really not that bad at all. Um, an interesting thing about this is there's like there's no nutritional info on the label, which might be illegal. I I know it's weird that you have to include nutritional info on the label, but I think it actually is the law that you need to do that, and they don't do that. Um, from what I've read, you only don't need to do that if it's from a spring and it's unaltered. But this says it's purified water, so it goes through a purification process. It's, it says it's processed through ozone and reverse osmosis. So they might be breaking the law there. <laughs> Um, and also, it, they could have put the nutritional label on the, on the, you know, outside labeling on the case, maybe? But I'm not really sure. But all I know is it's not on the bottles. Uh, yeah, it tastes... Man, I'll just open this now. It, it tastes like standard Niagara... And Nestle brands. Here's an Aldi brand. Tastes almost exactly the same. Like it has like the soft taste, I think, from the plastic. Um, but there's nothing, nothing wrong with it. There's no, no aftertaste. There's no like dirty taste to it or anything like that. Um, when I was researching fresh finds, I found on Google, I found a document from the West Virginia Department of Health, and this document that I found is a PDF that lists hundreds of different bottles of water. It's a 37-page document, and apparently there are two different fresh fresh find purified water brands. One of them is from Ice River Springs in Allentown, Pennsylvania. The other is a fresh finds bottled water from Niagara Bottling Company. And so I'm not sure which one is from is from Big Lots. But it's kind of confusing though because this says it's from Ohio. And those two, neither of them are from Ohio on the list. But that PDF is kind of just interesting. It shows which companies make which brands. And um, it shows how many bottles of water there are. There's like hundreds on the list. Yeah, like I was saying, Big Lots is a pretty weird store. It's kind of like Kmart. Like, <clears throat> they sell groceries, but they don't have any fresh vegetables or, like, fresh bread or fresh, you know, they don't, have, they don't have a deli section or anything. So why would you go there for groceries when there are better alternatives nearby? When, when you can go to a better place to get groceries. And they also sell furniture. But they have, it's like a small furniture section. So why would you go there for furniture when you could go to another bigger store, like maybe Ikea or something, and have a bigger selection of furniture? So why would you go there for groceries? Why would you go there for furniture? They also sell random, you know, just random stuff is the best way to describe it. Like, they had like a camping section. They had like rugs. All the stuff that they sell is, like, mediocre when there is a better alternative at another store. So I just don't understand why anyone would go there. Um, yeah, Big Lots. It's I think it's my second or third time there. And I don't plan on going back. I, literally all I bought was just the water and I left.
So normally I, I am very biased against sparkling waters. I do not like sparkling waters. But this is not a bad one. Um, this does not burn your throat going down. And it has an okay taste. You know, if you like oranges, that you would actually enjoy this. Um, but is it really water, though? And if it has bubbles and flavor, is it really water? <sighs> okay. So which one is the winner? Which one is moving on to the next round? The winner is Fresh Finds Purified Water. Yes, of course. I'm sure you knew that already. The, um, the still water is the winner. And this just comes down to my personal preference. Of course, I prefer still waters. So congratulations, Purified Water. It's a good value, too. 245 for 24 pack. It's not bad. 